Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. In chamber with President of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahamian. The parliament session of Western Armenia was held. Large-scale works are planned in Martunio of Artsakh, represents the mayor. The possibilities of exporting electricity from Armenia to Iran will increase, Deputy Minister. Foreign armed forces have completely withdrawn from Iraq. The newspaper Jamanak published in Constantinople warns that it is in danger of Closing. The Azerbaijani foreign minister replied to Google, Baku demands to remove Armenian names of Artsakh settlements. The Minister of Education and Science of the Republic of Armenia will popularize the cultural heritage of Armenia with books translated into foreign languages. During the special interview given on Western Armenia TV, the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, spoke about the current regional events that are directly related to both Western and Eastern Armenia. He analyzed the situation, gave clear assessments, while maintaining a clear vision of Western Armenia in legal terms to bring the country out of a difficult situation. The site touched upon the meetings with the participation of the Armenian Prime Minister in Brussels and also discussed the role of France during the trilateral meetings. On December 22, a regular session of Parliament of Western Armenia was held, which was chaired by the chairman of the Parliament, Leonardo Basmajian. The meeting was also attended by new deputies from different countries who were elected on December 18, 2021. President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian also spoke during the online meeting, during the online session of the National Assembly of various issues related to the plenary session of December 18. The proposals of the commissions were discussed, as well as the work of the groups formed by the commissions were touched upon. As a result of the war, 1,100 houses and apartments were damaged. Damaged residential buildings have been studied and submitted to administration. The work of the restoration and improvement of residential buildings carried out of the community has been monitored. In addition to the four-story apartment buildings under construction in a city, it is planned to build two more four- or five-story buildings in Artsakh quarter, May of the Martunia Aznavur Sargian said in an interview with a correspondent of Artsakh Press. The new thermal power station, which opened in Yerevan at the end of the November, will expand its possibilities of exporting electricity to Iran. This was stated by the Deputy Minister of Territorial Administration and Infrastructure of Armenia, Hagop Vartanyan. Technically, the new TPP power unit can supply electricity to Iran together with the existing power units. According to the Deputy Minister, Iran supplies gas to Armenia, which operates to the Yerevan CHP and partially other heating stations. Speaking about the construction of international power transition line, Vartanya noted that the Iran-Armenia line will be ready by the end of 2023. As for the construction of the new Armenia-Georgia line, its first stage has already been completed. The new lines will allow Armenia not only to export large values of electricity to Iran and Georgia, but also to transfer it in transit. The international coalition led by the United States had completed the withdrawal of troops from Iraq but has maintained a presence at a level of military advisors. This was announced by the representative of the general staff of the Iraqi armed forces, Major General Tasi al Kavaji. The withdrawal operation was successful, he said, noting that a military advisor still maintaining in a country will help in a fight against terrorists. On January 5, the Iraqi parliament adopted a resolution demanding the withdrawal of the foreign forces from the territory of the Republic. The oldest Armenian daily Jamanak published at Constantinople celebrated 114th anniversary with a set additional. The newspaper reports that it is in a difficult financial situation and faces the threat of closure. Over the last year, means newspapers are less reduced, the administration and the additional staff have strongly delayed the raising of anxiety, but are now forced to restore to the help of the situation is critical. Depending on a recent economic crisis in Turkey, as well as a decline in interest to the printing press affected the activities of the newspaper. The most important episode of the life of the Armenians living in Western Armenia occupied for more than a century the most important principle of the activity of Republic of Armenia and the publication covering the key developments of the Armenian independence. Editor of the newspaper Jamanak Ara Gochunyan is sure that although the print press is gradually losing its importance, objective and accurate information will always be in demand. The editor hopes that Jamanak will continue its mission over a century to come. 
the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan's two official diplomatic channels appealed to Google with a request to abandon the issue of Armenian names of territories that come under Baku's control as a result of the 44-day war in Artsakh. The head of the press service of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Leila Abdullaeva, said, according to RIA Novosti, the names of the Artsakh cities and districts controlled by Azerbaijan are currently indicated in the Azerbaijani and Armenian in the Google Maps application. Western Armenia being against such actions wants to emphasize that it's not the first time Azerbaijan grossly violates international laws. This country once again approves the occupation and genocidal policy but unacceptable encroachments of Artsakh and the Armenian people in general. Let's hope that justice will prevail and the Armenian toponyms of Artsakh will remain unchanged in Google Maps application. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia will submit a corresponding letter to Google. The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, in order to spread the cultural heritage of Armenia in the world, will implement a new program in the field of book publishing translating cultural content into foreign languages. This was announced by the Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Education and Science of the Republic of Armenia, Ara Ghazmalyan. We also spread our cultural content in foreign languages. We should pay great attention to foreign language literature, the Deputy Minister noted and added that they have priorities in popularization, inventory of values that come under the control of Azerbaijan as a result of the 44-day war and presentation of all these to the world. It is also planned to glorify the heritage of great Armenian composers and publish albums related to them. Now the musical part, Sayat Nova's song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.